Hogwarts Legacy's map size is a major, major concern for many, many players, myself included. Just how big is the open world map going to be in Hogwarts Legacy? Well, today, guys, I can confirm we're also going to compare it against other game maps. So you guys get a gist on just the size and scale of the explore but open world within Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, so the Hogwarts Legacy open world map hasn't been confirmed officially by Avalanche, but we can actually confirm its size via leaked images, which I ain't going to show you guys today because I don't want to get striked down by Warner Brothers because they hit my last video, the more falls. But hey, play silly games, you win silly prizes. So before we actually compare against other maps and other game maps, let me just give you guys an explanation of how people came to the conclusion of the Hogwarts Legacy open world map size. Well, it's relatively simple. Now, we had leaked images the other day. There were three of them in total in regards to maps. We had the Hogwarts Castle map layout, which looked pretty cool, by the way. A lot to explore there. We also saw a map of Hogsmeade. Now, this was the key. Now, on this uh, leaked image of Hogsmeade's map, there was a size indicator which showcased the length of 100 meters and this was in comparison to Hogsmeade. Now on the open world map, the fully open world map the game offers, what fans did was they shrunk down this actual image of Hogsmeade's map and put it in place on the open world map with exactly where Hogsmeade was and therefore then they could use this size scale and calculate the full size of the open world map within Hogwarts Legacy. And the result was, well, 54.67 kilometers squared roughly which is 21.1 miles squared roughly which is actually guys a little bit bigger than what i thought it was going to be so yes that is the size of the open world map within hogwarts legacy around 21.1 squared miles let me know your feelings on this down below okay so other games and other games maps and their sizes now these are just games i think you guys may have played in the past and then we're going to go through games that actually have a size similar to Hogwarts. Okay, so Assassin's Creed Black Flag, probably the best Assassin's Creed game in my opinion. This has a map the size of 55 squared miles, so pretty big. Okay, then we have World of Warcraft, 80 square miles. Wow, DayZ, 86 square miles. Death Stranding, now I remember this being pretty big. 230 square miles. Okay, so games are relative to the size of Hogwarts's map. Okay, so Skyrim. This had a map the size of 14.5 squared miles. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, what a game. 23.7 squared miles. Red Dead Redemption 2. 29.1 squared miles. Cyberpunk 2077. 16.79 squared miles. The Witcher 3, 20.8 squared miles. This was actually closest to the uh, map within Hogwarts Legacy. And the Witcher map was pretty good, not gonna lie. Grand Theft Auto 5, 31 squared miles. And then we have Elden Ring, 30.5 squared miles miles now out of rings map and you gotta remember this as well guys this could count for hogwarts's map as well we just don't know but there's levels to it especially with out of rings out of rings map is unbelievably big considering the different levels to it now if you put these levels side by side it would be a lot bigger but because it's all within that same scale above and below it still only counts as 30.5 squared miles. And that's the thing about Hogwarts Legacy. We know the scale from north to west. We know the scale from south to east. But in regards to depth, we just do not know. We know there are dungeons to explore, secret passageways, this, that, and the other. But even still, and this is also important to remember, just because a map is massive doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Because, I mean, we see a lot of games with massive open world maps, but a lot of those areas are completely empty. I think what they've done with Hogwarts Legacy is they've made a smaller map, but it's compact. There's loads of things to do and explore and find, which is a great thing in my opinion. But we will see. We will see. But there we have it, guys. Hogwarts Legacy's map in comparison to other games. Let me know your thoughts down below within that comment section. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.